hi guys um so welcome to another video um so this is the first video i'm doing using my new ipad um and i just want to show you guys a new game um called home street uh it's from super solid um it's quite good it's um not not been playing it too long now, but I really do um quite like it. Let's just uh turn actually that's maybe if I just need to turn that down a bit. There we go. Okay, so it's pretty cool actually. Um parts of it remind me of um Sims free play in terms of you can um, build your own home like you can if I show you so we can go into the shopping cart if you go down to like this section here you can uh, you can change the level of the walls you can change the rooms change the wallpaper Floors, doors, and windows, which is pretty cool actually. Um, and obviously, as you level up, you unlock um, more options to um, design with, which is cool. I mean, I haven't done very many train changes with um, with this really. I've um, started putting in some like decorations as you see like putting some bushes and I need to buy um buy coins. I haven't got any coins right <laughs> okay um yeah so I'm just trying to make it like my own um I mean we seem to be going quite well at the moment Nobody's buying my stuff out of the market. Um, okay, so we need to get coins. So let's see. Okay, so how this basically works is um, you click on the phone and you've got like orders. Um, and basically, you go to the little workshops that you the workbenches that you buy and put in your house to make these items so some of ones are painting so we'll go over to here and we'll start one of these okay and someone also wants a hat so let's make a hat like two of those because i think on there and then okay so dies from the supply shed so i only just got the supply shed so I wasn't actually sure what I needed to get from that. Okay. So I gather that. Okay, so that was a sketch. But if we click up here, um well, I've got a quest to collect five products from the drafting table and I need to do two more. And I need to make five sketches and hand in to this lady so you'll see that whenever you're crafting stuff um it requires um that like these little symbols like that one's a, a um a graduation cat that one's a light bulb and stuff so if you click see here or you can click on on your character so this is is my character here um, so you can either click on her or click on there um, and then basically you've got all these different things are um, basically like emotions that they're, they're, they're called thoughts so that's like creativity knowledge fun imagination craziness and then as you level up you unlock more emotions and you unlock more uh, space so basically what you have to do is tell your character 
which thoughts to have or make basically produce and then you need to have so many of the thoughts to do certain tasks so like with the uh, sketch I need two knowledge I don't have two knowledge at the moment did I put knowledge on no okay so it's it's kind of like with, like it, for those of you that have ever played um, games like Farmville and stuff like that um, you, whenever you put one in you'll get like two back but you need at least one in order to do it so there's one creativity and I got two back so I'll just put another one in um, yes it's pretty simple but uh, as I was saying earlier it's one of those games that really reminds me of games similar to Sims Street Play um, but it's better than Sims 3 play uh, or at least I feel it is at the moment um, I mean I've only just started playing it so um, I just I think I have to put some more time in it before I can say for definite but first thoughts are definitely um, you know feeling the vibe because um, you know you can actually play with you, your friends and so you'll see that like I've got one of my friends over here and you can actually like build relationships with people so whenever you click on this like you can actually invite your friends over to um, your house and collect these like thoughts off them but obviously you need like certain things to um, invite them over and at the moment I can't invite anyone else over into my um, waiting list because I've got no collectibles and I haven't got any coins. Well, let's complete a job. There we go. Um, oh, I can complete that one straight away. Yeah. So, ooh, for the locks and the clothes. Let's have a look. Hmm, don't do big hoops, I don't know. Oh god, those are like John Lennon glasses, those are actually pretty cool. I don't know why I'm teasing myself for looking through these clothes, I don't have, like, I, I don't have the money. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of nice actually, because you can set, like, separate outfits. I mean, I've not come across... A situation yet where my character has changed outfits so that's the outfit that my character typically wears um, on a day-to-day -day basis but then this is the formal I went for you know classic like red dress uh, this is like fitness work for working out obviously you don't wear glasses because uh, the, the, they'll fall off your face and break you don't want that happening um, and this is for swimwear and sleepwear. Um, so I'm British, so I mean I I prefer to wear nighties, but I I haven't seen that option really. And um, oh my god, it's even got lace underwear. What the hell? Okay. Yeah, but it's pretty cool. Um, but you can change. The, um, so I think if I did have to have one fault with this game, it's this little slider here, like, is your weight? And I'm quite a chunky person, so whenever I play games like this, I prefer my characters to be on the chunkier side. But the problem I find is that whenever you go, like, if you go to swimwear, like, I don't know, I feel like maybe it's the graphics in the game, but part of me really feels like that whenever you make them chunky, like, they actually look more muscle-defined. And, I mean, that's, that's not me. And also, like, the head is very disproportionate to the body, um, which in real life, my head is completely disproportionate to my body. That's not me being sarcastic. It actually is. 
<laughs> so, for now, I'm just sticking to like a middle ground with it. That seems about right. But it's pretty cool. You can do everything from your socks, trousers, obviously, tops. Then you got like jewellery, uh, glasses. You've got makeup as well. So, um, up here, you'll see like some Halloween stuff, which I haven't got yet. Um, but then, like, you can give like add on um, facial, like, um, freckles, you can actually age the skin, that one I've just unlocked, which is a makeup, it actually looks pretty good, so, I, at first you don't start out with the makeup, but, uh, it's something else. the only one with makeup on is that, but I didn't want freckles, so I just want me that out. And then obviously you can get hair. So the way that it works is whenever you do unlock. Um, so if I go to something new that I've unlocked. Okay. So I've just unlocked these these jeans. Actually those are really nice. Um, you see here the cart's got the colours. I've got a cart on. Oh that's actually really nice. I like that. I don't have any money though. <laughs> no. Um, so basically you have to buy the colours individually, so I could pay 320 coins for the black ones, and then if I decided actually I want to use these same jeans for another outfit, but I want it in like the, the lighter blue, then I'd have to pay um, for it again. So that's a bit of a, a drawback I guess, but at the same I don't know, it gives you something um, to strive for. And I guess it also makes um, planning your outfits very important. Um, let's see. Oh, stuff is done and complete. We will get some coins eventually. And I'm trying to build a fence, and it's like super expensive because um, the fence costs like. 35 I'm sorry I can't stop yawning um cost like 35 coins ago um I also want to repaint the outside of my house I don't really like the whole like shack um feeling also I'm trying I'm debating whether or not I should have my work tape woodworking table out there so I might put it out here by the shed. Right. Is that a good place? I don't know. I feel like it was better placed out in the patio. I do like the idea of like using trees to break stuff out in the garden, or at least until I get the money to make it look much more presentable rather than just an empty space. I think once I get, I think once I get a fence around this stuff, or at least around the yard, it'll look a lot better because um, you'll be able to tell where my garden starts and where the plaza starts. Yeah, so actually. Let me take you on a tour. So obviously here you have like the park and you're supposed to be able to like do events and stuff here. Which is cool. Um and apparently this is supposed to be like a game show thing where you can win like tickets, which is what these are the four things up in the very top right hand corner are, um next to the gems. Um, and then if you go talk to this guy here, um, you can trade in those tokens for, like, mystery boxes and get loot and stuff. Um, and then this is, like, the daily, daily spin kind of thing. I can't go on it again. Um... And apparently, like, you're supposed to be able to join, like, neighbourhoods, which is basically, like, clubs, you know, like, uh, like, groups 
and I'm assuming there's some kind of like group competition or something during like special events or that you can make your own but obviously at a cost um yeah so as you might have seen earlier in the video um the fountain I mean it wants to work okay it's not working but the fountain is where you collect achievements then you got the kiosk and why isn't oh let me build my door okay yeah so that's the daily thing uh, so the that's the, like achievements so you can you can actually get like um gems from completing achievements then this is um just like the kiosk so it's like the daily news what's going on in terms of like game updates and stuff like that um and then this is a lady that I'd, i have a quest with um and then here you have the guy who runs the market where you can sell stuff or you can buy stuff but um yeah i mean i, don't, I have no idea how how long this game has actually been out um but i feel like i'm gonna be honest if it's been out a very long time then it makes sense because um you know some games that after they've been out for like years people like to stop playing them like uh i used to play a game called like heyday where you like had to run a farm and you know do all this random stuff that you have to do in like pretty much every game um and yeah like everyone was just dead on it like nobody played it anymore um oh look she's watering the plants it's freaking cool i don't know why i decided to put them around this tree i just decided to i don't even know <laughs> But uh, yeah, I upgraded my door as soon as I had, cause it, um, I could, cause it was just like a plain old boring white door, and I was like, no, I want a red door. I want to be the person with the door that nobody forgets. Yeah, I'm that kind of weirdo. Um, yeah, okay, I need to fix my rose bush situation. Excuse me. Oh no, no money. No money again. What was I thinking? Thinking that I could actually do something. And I still don't have enough coins to invite anyone over, do I? Nope. I've got 43 coins and I need 50. Right. Mm, right. I need to do some more knowledge, some more creativity. And let's do some imagination. Right. Okay. I need to need another hat. I don't have that. I can't do that. I need socks too. Oh my god. Well, what have I got to do for my mission? Earn coins by selling items on the market. That'd be great if people would actually buy my stuff off the market. Um. And then I've got to spend coins by buying products or thoughts in the marketplace. Okay. And then I've got to bookmark three more players, collect products from a crafting table. And I'm going to spend 500 coins. Would be nice if I had 500 coins to spend on clothing, but I don't. Well, that's nice. But. You can actually like, watch the um, characters interacting with each other. It's pretty cool. I like the paintings on the wall. Like you can, there's like all sorts of. Yeah, let me finish showing you around the store. So here's like all the different like wood um, workbenches you can buy, and you've got um. So they're sorted by, so you've got bathroom, bedroom, then I'm assuming this is like, actually, I'm not even going to assume that I know what this is because I don't have a bloody idea. Um, 
Let's do it. Um, the kitchen, living room. I wanted my bookshelf so bad. I just want to fill my house full of bookshelves. Yes, I'm a bookworm. Just before anybody says anything. I am a huge bookworm. I need to buy a mirror for um for the bathroom. Last, I can't, and then this is the voice because it's all yeah, decorations. Um, and then you got outdoor stuff, so you got plants, and then outdoor furniture. And then I have no idea what this is. I'm assuming this is like quest stuff or like interactable stuff. And then this is obviously like all the outdoor stuff that I try to do. Yeah, I'm actually really enjoying um, playing this game, and I don't know if you saw because I probably was not, but apparently starting on uh, next week there should be um, apparently an, a, a new quest giver um, that will give off a new um, quest line. And a chance to get some exclusive items, which is fun. Um, so I'm gonna have to find time in my busy work schedule to um, work on that, I guess. I'm busy, busy, busy. Um, I'm just, I'm just wondering what's on there. Yeah. Why is it never in a language you can understand? You know? Look, sometimes I might just want to go wander off into the distance and look at the, uh... I do like the designs of these, these, uh, these buildings, so... Kind of remind me of, um... Something from a program from back from like the eighties called um, Full House. If you guys know it, then yeah, you know what exactly what I'm talking about. But um, if you don't, um, you can Google it. It's pretty cool. It's on Netflix at the moment, actually. Like they've got all se all seasons, and Netflix has actually just revitalized it and made a new like um, series spin off from it. So it it start, the original series started in the eighties and finished in the nineties. Um but Netflix have just made a like a sequel to it basically that's set like a couple of years like years into the future after the the some of the most of the main characters have obviously grown up and had their own children and they've moved right like, back into the the family home and so it's kind of like you know that I'm not doing a very good job of explaining all of this um I think we're probably just gonna leave it here like there's not much else that we can really my inventory is full I need to sell crap um And that's full. I can't. I can't sell anything. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I'm. I'm just gonna go. We're just gonna leave it here because I'm epically failing with this game. Um. And I'm just gonna have to try and rectify it. I guess. I mean, if um anyone has any tips or anything on how. Um, on what they think I should do next, or um, if you play this game yourself and you want to add me, um, 
Um, then you can add the yeah. So to add me via my friend code, then you know, um, more than happy to play with you. Um, so yeah, look at that, guys. Let's go watch these guys. Um, okay. Don't forget to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and make sure you are able to stay in tune for any of my next upcoming videos. It's been great talking to you guys again.